Hey guys, welcome back to uh, part 13. No, I didn't want to interact with you. Whoa. I was trying to jump. I have one stack that is way higher than all the other ones. Hey. Like, that can't possibly be safe. which is the 100 coin one. One more golden gear. Okay. Okay. There's probably only like two more episodes left in this. The thing I like about the Yahoo in this, that gets me the most about it, is that like, to me, it speaks like I am clearly a full-grown adult attempting to attempting to a passable. Attempting to do a passable child's voice. I'm here for all the other stuff. It's interesting that the 100 coin challenge is legitimately just its own thing. Um, it says it just assumed it was like an extra unknown star. So I guess it just leaves everything open for me now for further exploration. That's neat. That's nice. Or it kind of bugs me in games when they're like. No, oh, hold on. I know I should activate. Put this thing on. of uh effectively the this hundred going down is probably gonna be the easiest one. I'm pretty sure I initially said when I first got here it would probably be the hardest. Well that was wrong. It's apparently down here. Must be the giant bulb in the ceiling, is what I'm missing. Enemies don't respawn either, so stopping to kill enemies really isn't like a bad idea. Specifically for the for the book, the light bulb. Okay, rope bridges. Okay, giant pickaxe. Okay. 
last fossil is behind me. I suppose it might be up top. Up. I just have to work my way up there. Right, up. Coins. Let's do this first. Up. Oh, yes. Up. I didn't tell the boy why the camera was following him. Up. But I think on some deep level he knew. Up. It was really quite obvious when you stopped to think about it. Really, it's ha. his fault. Ha. 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 <laughs> Sword man in court. Oh yes, well, so you are quite clearly a pedo. Could you, like, not? Oh, it is on that little side path there. Okay. Well, I'm heading in the right direction for it, and that's what mad is. episode of this, depending on how, uh, she been like the amazing archaeologist. Okay, so you can't get up to the bulb. There's like a wire running up to it. So where do I go to get to it? Oh, it's legit right here. Oh, that works out. There's also a giant gem up here. This works out. What I'm, what I'm getting told is that I'm basically done this area. I'll probably finish it the next five minutes. That's cool. Once you get all the way up here. Second giant pickaxe. Where the fuck was a giant pickaxe? Can I see a giant pickaxe? Yeah. Can't see one from where I'm standing. Ah! <laughs> Terminal velocity. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for collecting the vast majority of the medallions for me. left. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's a spot that I haven't, that I haven't gone back to because I hated it, which is that part where they're making me jump on thin, annoying platforms. No, I'm not close enough to it to make it pop up on the map. Not yet, anyways. It's interesting that, like, falling this game has, like, absolutely zero consequence to it. Diagoing, diagoing from me. Ha! Make up your damn mind. Up. Ha! 
I think it's neat that they just let you, like, I don't have to come in here during the time trial, just let me hop over the gate if I want to. For being, like, a little indie game, they fixed a couple of problems I have with, like, collectathon style games like this. I can see it from the bulb because it's just not on that angle. No wonder I couldn't find it. Oh, it's an emergency exit. Doesn't really look like a giant. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I see it from this. I can definitely tell it's a giant pickaxe from this angle. Okay, so how do we get to it? Okay, you're going down. It's the easiest way to do it is to like start the thing. I could probably stand on those crossbars. The game's pretty good about just letting you stand on stuff. Or should I just make the leap of faith for it and just make a dive for it? One thing about this is it's actually kind of hard to see where the ledges are on these things. Like, if I had to pick, like, one thing I would view as, like, overly problematic, it would be that. It's also kind of weird that they give you, like, so many, like, paths up. Like, it's not just a straight jumping puzzle, but they have, like, ladders and stuff all over the place. And I guess it gives you a, uh... Like options. Huh. I thought the shit was going to be like a cage I'd get to. I seem to lose grip on these, despite how slippery it is. Interesting, they like. It's the hardest one yet, it's the only one I've managed to fail. Wait, hold, hold on a second. Is that too high for me to get up on now? Oh, it looks like nicking it with my corpse brought it back down a little for me. Yeah, it did. Okay. Ha! 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 
Why didn't we just run and plug it up the second it was done? We really didn't have to do any of this. How exciting. Let's go see what's hiding behind that mysterious gate. No. Up. Woo! This old science man lad. Up. I'm sorry, but I'm a completionist. Uh -huh. Make him look like I'm a chapter. My book, because guess he has your reward. I got an erudite article and he's just like, I wrote a book! I'm like, I don't know how me finding places helps you. Hup. <laughs> Got it. I'm honestly just assuming the last golden gear is like Hup. somewhere Yahoo! in like the last area there. Because that's what I would do. Because they have four like minigame challenge areas. And then like the uh -huh. last area. Found fossils. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about your life story, just give me the shiny thing. Yes. Cool. And one more for golden gears. I would, you know what, I wouldn't be super shocked if they just threw me a curveball and tacked on like a bunch more, but it really wouldn't make sense. The last secret one's gonna drive me nuts. Okay. Whoa. Give it to us, the challenge all this. What was a bomb guy, which I got because I went right in front of you. I got this one because it's right behind you. I got the maze, and the maze one was I found the first pillar. There was the fucking Coliseum thing, and that one was right off the start. Yeah, so I'm just I'm I don't know where the last golden gear is. Hopefully, it just opens itself to me at some point. Hey. mode unlocked I guess that's a good way to get like the double the ah! double dip on your challenge levels you have to you make them complete all your levels and then you make them do the keep ha! it's going to be s oh it's just ha! five ha! I thought it was going to be seven that's <laughs> like seven keys because these guys ha! don't know how to make uh, anything but seven key based levels ha! Ha! bases of seven <laughs> So basically, it makes you relap the whole thing again. So I'd end up with, what, 88 medallions in total or something like that? Hey. I guess the super slide one would be the most obnoxious, eh? Seven. There's the seven. They got numbers. I'm not a fan of their liking odd numbers. Why am I going to end up with 88 medallions? Oh, so... So you have to fall off to get the same, to get multiple keys. Because there's one down the main path, and then there's ones off the beaten path.
Oh, there's more than... Yeah, there's more than just seven keys. Alright. Alright. I didn't notice that. I mean, that's not a bad thing, obviously. Yeah, you have to get the bomb. I was expecting it to pause me and be like, look at the thing spawn. Wasn't that special? Yes! I sent this young boy on so many dangerous adventures. Who knew a snow slide with a thriving ec hey. eco ecology could spawn from the middle of nowhere? It basically defies physics. Much like my giant whale balloon. What I'm getting at is I'm basically a perverted demigod. Which is pretty par for the course for demigods. Understand the severity of this situation, young lad. You're my plaything. You will stay here for the rest of time collecting medallions at my whim. You thought I was just a perverted old man. But I was far worse than you could possibly imagine. This staff goes just like 10 seconds. Hey! Let's see, Climb Gores. Climb Gores is the one that annoys me the most. It's not even hard. It existence annoys me. That was a tight one. I was, I was getting close on some of those. Yes. I wish I could skip the uh, <laughs> the pickup thing, because I wouldn't. <laughs> hey. Well, I forgot this one existed until I saw it again. I was like, right. I did this at the point when I had gears, so I didn't have to go back to any of them. <laughs> Screaming. Ah, you missed! It's like melting in the lava. You were supposed to be the chosen one, Lavakin. I can't skip like the spawn animations for this either, so we just have to watch it. As someone who, like, enjoys platforming games, this is just one of those yeah. games where I'm like, man, this is a fun game. <laughs> Watch, like, the final thing be like, I beat all the staff hey. times. Ooh, that would annoy me. That one. Yep. <laughs> 
how they were like, let's space them out. Oh shit, we're running out of space. Push them all together. Awesome. If you're gonna get number four, there's a good chance you get number five. Just saying. Okay, welcome back good for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you like to see that, please do all things. I'll see you in the next episode.